In several key swing states are seeing a record number of coronavirus cases. Fox's Kevin Cork has more from Columbus, Ohio. With long voting lines across this spacious state, there are growing concerns about the possible spread of the coronavirus. Indeed, Governor Mike DeWine took to Twitter, warning Buckeye State voters to remain vigilant, noting that 78% of them were living in counties with very high exposure and spread of the virus. We also share a common enemy, one that cares not whether we vote for Donald Trump or Joe Biden, an enemy that is relentless and now clearly on the march. And the numbers back up his concern, with Ohio hitting a new 24-hour record this past Friday with more than 3,800 positive cases. But it's important to point out there's been a surge of testing here, too, with over 100,000 tests statewide on Thursday and Friday alone. Compare that to daily rates of just 31,000 a few days earlier and fewer than 18,000 on a Monday in early September. Voters here ignored long lines today and some ignored their fears about the virus. As long as you wear your mask and uh, stay socially distant, I believe it's pretty safe. Oh, I feel pretty safe. I'm not real. This COVID thing doesn't really bother me that much. Oh, not safe at all. I'm, I feel like I'm going to go get tested after this. It's not just Ohio that's battling a new wave of cases. The virus is spreading nationwide, with faster upticks in Florida, Georgia, Iowa, Minnesota, Michigan, North Carolina, Nevada, Ohio, Wisconsin, and Texas, according to new data from Johns Hopkins University. Slide it in. Ohio has been planning since spring for this election day in their nearly 4,000 polling locations across the state. We're following a 61-point checklist that we devised with the Center for Disease Control as well as the Ohio Department of Health. Ohio has already administered more than 4.5 million COVID-19 tests. This is a state where there have also been more than 200,000 positive COVID-19 tests and over 5,000 deaths, although the vast majority of those have occurred with comorbidities. In Columbus, Ohio, I'm Kevin Cork, Fox News.